All right, guys, welcome. Welcome uh, a week and a half late to my post-show recap. And uh, I'm gonna tie it in with a little bit of morning cardio because the shred has continued. It's about a week and a half since I went on stage for the first ever time at the NZIFBB Wellington Champs 2015. I had an awesome time and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I learned, a few things uh, that I didn't really see coming and I'm also gonna show you my stage shots that I've just received, which I was almost more nervous to see than I, than I was to step on stage, to be honest with you, um, because I never got any stage shots, I never got any people from the crowd to take pictures of me, so I never actually knew exactly what I looked like on stage, so that was very nerve wracking, but all in all, I'm, I'm happy, you know? You guys would have seen me talk about my competition, who I was up against, and I'm gonna show you that right now, <laughs> or in a few minutes, but um, first of all, uh, let me just put a t-shirt on, and then we're gonna go for a walk and have a talk. Walk and talk. Got my aminos, of course, and we are golden. No, nope, I need my wallet. Let's get out of here. <sighs> Alice Springs, eh? Good to be back. Good to be back. Definitely back in the swing of things as far as work goes now. Um, took a little while. Took a couple of shifts, that's for sure. I was away for nearly four weeks. So I think that's probably the longest I've been away in the last five years. But, um, man, what I will say is that if I didn't compete in Wellington, it did actually cause issues when I came back to work, <laughs> taking that extra week. Um, I was so focused on the show, so focused on making these videos, etc., that I didn't even communicate very well with my boss. Um, and then when I got back, yeah, I won't go too much into it, but it was a pretty shitty first day. Um, and also being... <laughs> You know, post post holiday depression. You know, getting back, it was it was kind of hard, but I got through it. Didn't binge on my diet or anything. That's for sure. The diet is um, in check, 100%, and uh, it's going to continue that way for the next week and a half until I jump on stage again. So let's talk about this first show. So yeah, went into it. All I've seen from bodybuilding shows is from Instagram, from Facebook, YouTube. And I love watching it and I love seeing people go backstage and seeing people's experience and stuff. So I really wanted to bring something like that to you guys um, and to everyone that's going to watch this in the future. So I hope, I really hope I did that. I hope you guys enjoyed it because um, I loved making those videos. Eh? And I felt like you guys were there with me. Like it was really awesome. So first of all, I have written back to some comments in, um, in, on YouTube today but man this is just a huge thank you to everyone any new subscribers man subscribers have been with me for uh, you know for for the last two years you guys would have seen some change that's for sure um, and if you have been here since the start man pipe up tell me because that's amazing like you're still you're really still watching my videos two years later when I when at the start, who, who would have even known that I'd, I'd make it here to the stage, so. Yeah, I just wanna say thanks. Thank you very much. It means the world to me that you're supporting. I can't, I can't name names. I mean, a lot of you guys, I don't really know your names, but I wish I could. And, you know, if I'm, if we're ever at an expo, or if I ever go to an expo as a fan, or, you know, FitX in, in Melbourne, um, fuck, hit me up and we'll meet up and have a train, something like that. So I really want to get involved with my subscribers, and I would, but I live in Hell Springs, so it's kind of hard. So let me talk about what I learnt from the show. 
I learned heaps. I learned how the registration goes. I learned how the prejudging runs. I learned how you really never know when your class is going to go on stage. So I learned that you really shouldn't, st you should, well, for a start, you should have a pump up routine sorted. You should know exactly how long it's going to take. Um, you should know exactly what equipment you're going to use, what what uh, you know, what exercises you're going to do, what you really need to pump up, and have it in your mind so you're not stressing at all. And this next show, I'll definitely have that in my mind. But man, it was an hour. Well, I thought it was probably about half an hour to go until I jumped on stage and I started pumping up. Turned out it was about an hour to go because depending on how big the classes are, I mean. My class had six people in it, above 180 centimetres. 170 to 180 had like 15 competitors, and it got re-judged. So, I mean, <laughs> I started pumping up when the bikini girls were still on, and we still had all of the physique athletes. I really didn't know. So, and I mean, every show is going to be different, but men's physique was the last division of the entire show. So, made it kind of hard to judge, but I did learn a lot about that. I also learnt that there is so many more uses for resistance bands than you ever knew, I'm telling you guys. There is so many more <laughs> uses for a resistance band. I like I wrapped it around a staircase and used and used it for tricep push downs. I used a hollow staircase as, as a pull up pull up bar. And I, I tell you what, when I get to WBFF backstage, I'll be looking for something to pump up my back. Some sort of bar or step or something because my back in the stage shot that I will show you wasn't pumped at all. I, I put most of my time into doing my rear delts and no time into doing my back, so it really sucks. But you live and you learn. It's all about learning. So, uh, where was I again? Oh yeah, resistance bands, yeah. I'll be taking one of them. Um, What else did I learn? I learnt... I learnt what a thousand people in a crowd feels like. Um, God. I tell you what, man, my heart was absolutely racing before I went on stage. Uh, especially because my name was the first name out of the six in my class. So I couldn't, I couldn't stand behind someone and see them go out in front of me first. I was the first one, everyone was lined up behind me, so... Fuck me, what a, what a nerve-wracking experience, but we've done it, and we're only going to get better. I'm a week and a half post-show, no binges, I got back down onto the diet extra hard because I just got motivated as fuck seeing these other guys shredded as, um, having a great time, and the more confident you are in your body and the work that you've done before the show, the, mu the better time you're going to have, man. If you're worrying about losing water, if you're worrying about everyone else, if you're worrying that you're not shredded enough, if you're always, you know, looking at yourself and stuff and, and with disappointment, if you know that you've done 110% in all the time coming up to the show, there is going to be n none of that. There's going to be no... Um, self-confidence issues you know you're gonna you're gonna kill it up there if you've done if you've done a hundred and ten percent everything you can whatever the result you'll know inside yourself that you've done that and those uh, and you'll be confident in yourself and um, <clears throat> I wasn't in the, in the first show because I knew that you know I had three more weeks to go blah 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 I've said it all before either way guys bit of a rant bit of a ramble but, and these flies are so fucking annoying. Oh my God. <sighs> but that's what we get here in Alice Springs. It's getting into summer. It's actually a little bit humid today. When, when the clouds come over, it gets a little bit humid and flies start coming out. But when it's nice and dry, they're not too bad. But this morning's pretty bad. <laughs> fucking annoying. So without further ado, here we are, some stage shots from my show. We've got two, two shots uh, from the front, from the pre-judging, um, from my posing routine, and two shots uh, as comparisons in the open class 
me against that other guy Tom that I was telling you about um, absolute fucking unit just have a look at this guy I mean I was I was 88 kgs on stage he's um, yeah you, you you guess how much he weighed I'd say he'd be tiffing at least 100 uh, shredded so yeah have a look guys I'm gonna put them up now I'm gonna leave you guys now continue on with my cardio we're getting it it's 10 days out from my from my next show WBFF Australia 2015 on October the 17th and I welcome you to follow me on my next series which is going to start straight after this video and it's going to be called Road to the WBFF Road to the Stage is wrapping up guys uh, so yeah I mean <laughs> I want to make two series out of this comp prep basically so that is what we're going to do we're signing off signing off here I'll show you my stage shots and uh, I'll be back with you with the first episode of Road to the WBFF